Oh yeah, so I think I found somebody to do my chrome trim as well. This one got a few little pitting spots in it, which is not horrible. I just need to reshine. This sort of look good when I put it back on the car, you know what I mean? So we gonna go from there with it. Um, guy in Illinois said he can get it done for me. I seen he did Sugar Man's. I seen him on Sugar Man channel. He did a pretty good shot, job on Sugar Man trim, so I'm gonna go ahead and get mine done. It don't look horrible, it's just faded. It's not like a lot of pitting in it or nothing. It's just, uh, like this stuff right here is just dirt. I actually come off where it's just like faded. And it's stained, so by it being stained, I just want it re, -re chrome you know what I mean? I want it to look like these lips right here. Like this chrome on here. Oh, but I got more chrome. So it's a couple days later, man. Um, I just finally found somebody I think that can polish my chrome. I gotta take it down there. He gonna give me a price once I get down there. Let me know what he can do. Um, Cause I definitely need my chrome repolish. It ain't chrome, it's actually aluminum off of my car, but I need to resurface. They gonna probably get the factory coat off of there and then they'll repolish it from there. Hey, now I found your phone, baby. Here, yeah, I found it right here. Was it dead? Oh, you got a little, little charge. Your mama just called you. Oh, she on the phone. Okay, okay. Yeah, but anyways, we're going to go down here. I'm going to drop the polish off, uh, the metal off, so they can go ahead and polish it for me. That way we can get it done. Hopefully, he got a good turnaround time. If not, uh, I might have to hold off because I need it back for the car show. So we're going to see what we can do. I'm going to go down here. This is my first time dealing with him. I was referred to him from another company that was backed up. So we should be good to y'all see I got everything lined up out here. It ain't too bad. You know, it ain't all pitted and beat up and stuff. It just needs to be, re, like I said, re, redone. So I don't know. I might take them this too. Let me see. I might take them my Opera Light Chrome too. Let me see. My Opera Light Chrome look pretty good though. So I ain't got to really worry about that. But I told y'all, these are my Opera Lights right here. My new upper lights basically. It's the new setup. It's gonna go like that there. Put it in that there. It's gonna look like that there then. You know what I mean? I might have to bring in this too and see what he can do. Mm -hmm. You know, these don't look bad. Upper lights don't look bad. I just need to get that extra paint off of those though. So I might hold tight on those for now. So I get the extra paint off. But yeah, this is the setup I got going on though. You know what I'm saying? These are new upper lights. I might not even turn the lights on because they're not the blue that I actually want. But they still do the trick, just so the lights can be visible. You know, they'll be there if I want, well, you know, wanted to turn them on or whatever. So that's cool too. But this is how I look outside of that. I bought this. They told me that this piece will replace the black plastic piece and the lens. Now I do replace the lens itself because my lens is all cracked up. But it didn't replace this part. So you're still gonna need this part because I gotta cut it too. Though. But when you put it on here. This part is what holds the opera lights on to the car. So you gotta have this black piece. There ain't no way around that. So what I did was I taped it, man. I was gonna buy a new one for 150. I'm like, shit. I got that thing glued back together. It was a clean break. I put some nice glue on there with the spray, with the adhesive. That thing gonna be straight. Mark my words. It's gonna be in one spot, so it should be all right. But uh, yeah, I ain't gonna worry about that right now. I'm just gonna take my other pieces down there and then we should be good. So it'll just be this stuff right here. I throw that on the truck, I throw it in the back seat. And uh, let me see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I got 14 pieces, so he should be able to polish stones. I know he's gonna probably charge you five, 600 bucks, might be even more, we'll see. But whatever he charge me, I'm getting it repolished because it's gonna look damn good on the car. Let's go. You ready, little dude? Yes. Let's get it. Oh, go do me a favor. You know my little lamp on my dresser? Lift it up and get that car from under there. Just to lift the, uh, my little lamp up on my little nightstand and get a look. It's a little card up under there, right up under the uh, lamp. Come on, Peyton, let's roll, baby. She didn't decide to do it. Now, this is a box that her her kitchen set came in that her godmommy bought her, which is my niece. Her godmommy bought her a kitchen set, which is right here. I don't know why they sent it in this big wide ass box, but anyway, she didn't use this box as a playhouse since last night, so we're gonna have to get rid of this box, but I might keep it. Some boxes I keep, because I ship a lot of parts off, so I keep a lot of boxes, depending on what I might need to use to ship. Put your uh, stuff up, so. Oh, yeah. oh your service stuff. Let's 
before I just drop the pieces off, I'm gonna let y'all know how it goes. Uh, he said about a week. He just actually called me and said about a week. Um, they should be done. So that's gonna make a big difference on how they look. Cause I was just tempted just to put them on the car, and I said, no, nah, I'm gonna try one more place. And luckily, I tried them because they got me in there, and I didn't get referred to them. I just googled them. Looked up their reviews, and then I'm like, okay, they good. You know what I'm saying? I see all the reviews. They say you do a damn good job. That's what they focus on, doing that type of work, uh, you know, polishing and all that metal and aluminum and all that stuff. But um, they usually only deal with people who got accounts with them. So luckily, they dealt with me. I didn't have an account, but he looked out for me anyway and said, okay, we're going to deal with you. But we usually only take customers who have accounts with us. So that was cool. He looked out for me. So I keep you all posted. I, like I said, I've never been here before, but I definitely let y'all know how it goes once I get my stuff back next week. What up, what up, people? Um, it's a few days later. I just got a call from the polishing company. They um, just called me and said they done with the chrome. On my chrome trim for the box Chevy. So you know me, shit, I shot straight out here. I wasn't wasting no time. I'm ready to get it back and start getting it put on the car, so we own it, we own it. So I'm about to shoot out here and go grab it, and then once we leave here, we're gonna just stop up to the top shop and check on the top and see where they at with it, and then um, we go from there. So I'll cut y'all back on in a second, let's go. Get up in here and see how good it's looking. Okay. So he said, uh, should look pretty good for you. Okay, All I right. appreciate that. So I just left, I picked up the chrome. He just had one little piece out to show me how it looks. It looks damn good from what I see. He just showed me a sample. So I'm like, he got everything else pretty much wrapped up, which is good because I didn't want to go in there scratching and moving around so we got it wrapped so it won't get scratched. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get back to the house and I'm gonna show y'all what it's looking like. But first we're gonna stop over by uh, John just to check on the top and stuff. He told me he had the headliner done already. So uh, he's working on the top now. So we're gonna go over there and check on that. And then uh, once we get back to the house, I'll show y'all what the, what the, what the uh, trim looking like. And if anybody want to get their stuff done, I'll put the information somewhere in the video so y'all can go up here too. Uh, like I said, it's right, it's about 15 minutes away from me. It's right in Menominee Falls, so that was good because I almost went to um, Chicago. I almost had to go to Chicago to get it polished because I was watching Sugar Man video and I see that he had got his stuff polished, so I ended up hitting up, uh, I think his name Dave out there, or Dan. I hit him up and then he told me to come out there. I said, you know what, let me try one more place locally before I go out there and I tried one place they were super professional got me in got me out I dropped it off four days ago and here we are four days later not even a week they got me done so I'm gonna shoot up here to the top shop check on the box Chevy and then we're gonna go from there man so let's go I just spent all morning trying to get the fiberglass so you which what did you do to it just fiberglass it yeah or did you just fill some in no from I put some fiberglass in the back Okay, so you say he almost there, huh? Check that out. Okay. Okay. They wrap the visors too. Yep. Now, what about the back piece that goes in the window? You still working on that part? Okay. Oh, which part? Oh, that right there. Okay. Now, how does that work? That, that connects into the back window? Okay, it looked much better though. You got it looking good up there. See these things? Mm-hmm. The little tab. Uh-huh. Okay, the, yeah, this from on the other side of here, right? Those get screwed on right here, there's holes. Okay. And uh, yeah, they, Okay, so they go up under there. Okay, so it goes in. They get screwed to it right here, but you can put the screw in. Okay, okay, so it goes through there. So, but that's gonna be, it's wrapped the same color as the, uh, of course. Let me just check it out real quick, okay. 
Yeah, I was at the post office sending some more parts, so I was like, let me stop right here. Okay, that look good. Okay. So you said that, uh, we should be done this week sometime, huh? Yep. Okay. Let's be right in here. All right, so we back. Got all the chrome pieces back. So let's start peeling them open. I already know, in case y'all don't know, when you polish stuff, you know, the part that's black on there, you can either get it polished off silver or you can paint it back black. I'm gonna paint it back black, so let's just bust it open. Y'all gonna see it when I see it. All right, so here we go, y'all. Just unwrapped everything. I think they did a pretty good job. Y'all can see the difference. Y'all see the reflection in them things? Look at that mirror reflection. This right here, of course, is expected because they polishing. So, I mean, they probably could have taped that off so they wouldn't hit the color, but I ain't tripping. I painted these last year. So I'm just gonna tape this off and hit it with some paint. These are the only two that need to be painted is this and this. You know, this had a couple pits in it, but it still looked much better than it did. You know, it's got dust on it, but they did a damn good job. And they got some very fair prices, so I can't complain. They did a very good job. Now I got a nice little shine to it. I'm probably gonna get this done next, and this one that's bad, so I'm pretty sure this will come out even better. But um, to say this looked so bad, they made it look much better, because this stuff was like super, super tarnished and faded. So they did a damn good job. Look at the camera. See that? Mirror. Yeah, I cleared that reflection in. They did a good job, man. And this is aluminum, so this ain't stainless steel. Stainless steel would look even better, you know what I'm saying? But this aluminum being polished. So y'all can see the difference. Like I said, it ain't gonna be perfect because it's not brand new aluminum, but it was a decent enough shape where they could shine it up for me. So I think they did a pretty good job. I think they did a pretty good job. So that's a, uh, that's a win for the Box Chevy family, man. Now we pretty much left to do is wait on John. We just left the shop, uh, top shop. He said they should have me done by Friday. Today is Wednesday, so come Friday, he said they should have the top on. As you can see, when I came in there, they had my headliner done. They had my um, piece to go in the back window done. So, and they had the my blue uh, rag top. They had it sitting on the table, working on it, stitching it. So they working, they, uh, they getting it together. So they have it ready by Friday. That's what been holding me up. I know a lot of my people hit me always asking, man, when you gonna post again? But sometimes I just don't have nothing to post. I mean, I can post, but who wanna keep posting the same shit over and over? So I try to wait till I get some real updates for y'all before I just post anything. Just cause y'all the box Chevy family and I ain't gonna just do y'all any kind of way, you know what I'm talking about? So I try to wait for an update before I just post, man. You know, I could just post anything and get paid off of it, but hey, I wanna give y'all some real progress. I wanna show y'all some real progress, man. That's what, you know, that's what I do, so. Friday, like I said, it's two, two days away. Once we get it back, we're going to work on it. We're going to start um, reassembling everything, putting all the chrome back on now since it's polished um, and a bunch of other shit. So y'all just got to stay tuned, man. Like I said, the videos is definitely finna start kicking in because we're going to have a lot to do. So as soon as we get it, we're going to overdrive and we're finna get it going. So next couple days, it's still June. We still got two months left for the summer. Y'all bear with me, man. We finna get it going, get it cracking. It's Box Chevy P checking out, though, man. If you're here watching this video, hit that like button for your boy. And if you ain't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. And um, I'll see y'all in a couple more days, man. Y'all ain't gonna wait two more weeks. It's a couple days. I'll see y'all, man. So catch me on the next one, man. Peace.